fast mail tutorial for beginners. Hello everybody, in this video I'll be showing you step by step how to use Fastmail. So Fastmail is a paid privacy focused email service that also offers calendars and contact management. So the first thing you need to do is go onto your browser and search for fastmail.com on your browser and then click search. Then from here, this page should be popping up. And from here, you'll need to either log into your account or create a new account by try for free over here. And as you can see here, you can try Fastmail for free for 30 days, no obligation and no credit card required. Here, you'll need to add in your own personal name. Then from here, you'll need to choose your email address. You can also use your own domain if you want to do that and if you have one or else you can just use fastmail own provided mail accounts then from here you'll need to add in the first part of the email so i'm just gonna click my guides one you can also choose all of these dot com ca cn and all the way from down here you can also use sent.com or pobox.com if you want to choose one of those then from here you'll need to add in a password so you can log into your account then from here you need to enter start your free trial and when you've done that this page will be popping up where you'll need to add in your phone number and you can change your phone number if your carrier isn't from the united states but my one is from denmark and i'm going to click my phone number right here then from there fastmail will send you a message or sms on your smartphone device and ask you to verify your phone number. Then from here, when you have verified it, it will be looking something like this. And here you can see all of your inbox and all of your already existing mails. Here you can see all mails, you can see unread mails, pinned mails, and VLPs up here. Then from here, you can also see your archived, you can see the drafts, your send email, your spam and your trash over here. Then from here, if you want to create a mail, you can click compose over here and select to subject and add your email and click send over here. Then from here, you can also see over here in the menu, you'll see contacts and calendar over here. You'll also see up in the right hand corner, the settings tab, the what's new app and your account up here. Here you'll have the option to add another account or log out of your specific account. Now let's go into the display settings. And to do that, you simply need to go up here to settings and go over to display options. From here, you'll be able to change your language You'll be able to start your week on, for example, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, and you can start the time format you can change the appearance from dark to light. You can change the color, the button style, and all of these other settings over here. When you've done that, you can also go back to get into the inbox site. Now, let's just say you want to migrate from your Gmail account to Fastmail because you want your Fastmail account to be your newest and permanent email supplier. And to do that, it's also super simple. The first thing you need to do is go up to the settings tab up here. You need to go down to account and migration. Then from here, you'll see all these options. You see import, export, apps, and setup guides. Here, you'll if you choose import, you can choose Gmail, Outlook.com, iCloud, Yahoo Mail, Hey, or Inbox files, and other IMAPs. Or you can also upload contacts and calendars if you want to do that. But let's just say you want to add your Gmail. This will also work with Outlook, iCloud, and Yahoo Mail, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to choose Gmail. From here, you need to sign in with Google, and when you do that, you can see this page right here. Then from here, you need to select the Gmail that you want to transfer over to Fastmail, and then click Continue. Then from here, you can select what Fastmail can access. Just for this tutorial, I'm just going to choose Select All, and click Continue down here. Then you can see Sign in with Google, and you'll see what we'd like to import. You'll like to import the mails and the calendar. They can also keep fetching new mails from inbox of your specific Gmail account. You can set up sending from Gmail to your Fastmail account, and you can keep your imported calendars synchronized with Google. So when you're done with that, you can click do it, and then Fastmail will start importing your emails and calendars over to Fastmail. To see that it all works, you can also go back to mail and see all of your emails from gmail is coming over to the fast mail account so now let's create a contact and if you go over here to the menu and go over to contact you'll see up here you can create a new contact over here you'll also see all contact and an overview of already existing contacts 
Down here, you can also import your contact via SVC file or Gmail, Outlook, iCloud, Yahoo Mail, Hey, and so on, like we previously talked about. You can also see there's groups over here, but I'll show you how to create those groups in a bit. So let's create a new contact up here. And here you can see you'll have this icon up here where I can select a profile picture for this specific contact. You can add in a title, a first name, a last name. You can add a job title, a department and a company of this specific contact. You can also down here add in a nickname if you want to do that and the contact's birthday, day, month and year. Down here you'll also be able to add in an email and from there you'll also be able to add several other emails like personal, work, other or custom. Down here you'll also see the default email is the same as the first personal email up here. You'll be able to add in a phone number, a website or Facebook, GitHub, Skype, Twitter, WhatsApp, other or custom. Down here you'll also be able to add in an address for home, work or other and select the department or the place that this specific contact is located. You'll be able to add in a street number, a postal code, and a city. You'll also be down here able to add in notes for this specific contact. But from here, you'll need to click save. And from here, it should be looking something like this. And here you can see all of your emails that you have sent to this contact and all the events that you have been invited to or invited this specific contact to. But from here, let's say you want to add in to a group. And to do that, you simply need to go up here to groups and create a new group up here. Let's just call it test. Then from here, you can see a test group has been created over here on the groups. And if you want to add a specific contact into an email, you can choose compose over here and create an email from there. So let's create a meeting lastly. And to do that, you simply need to go over to calendar here in the menu and see the calendar looks like this, like any other calendar to be exact. So let's say you want to create an event or a meeting. From here, you'll just need to click this plus icon called new events. Here you'll have to choose what, which type of meeting this is. You'll be able to say where, you'll be able to add the calendar or a specific other calendar that you have created onto your Fastmail account or imported into, into your Fastmail account. You can also change the color to the specific meeting and you can show as busy or free. Down here, you'll be able to add in when you can select all day or a specific part or time of day. You can also down here add in repeat, for example, every week by clicking here and you'll get these right here. You can add the guest where you can select different people and then click invite. You'll also be able to add in a reminder if you want to do that and a couple of notes and attachments for this specific event. So from here, you'll need to click save. And as you can see over here, the test event or meeting has been created. So let's say you have a contact that you quickly want to invite into this event or meeting. And to do that, you simply need to go over to contacts and over here, find the specific contact that you want to invite. So from here, you'll need to click invite over here and then create the meeting you want to invite this specific contact to. And that's how you do it. If you have any questions about it, please leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them as quickly as possible. See ya.